Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Faster Than Light, FTL. Faster Than Light, I get to pilot a spaceship, not quite like these, but I get to start a new game and pilot a spaceship like that, and fight off bad people, and completely own a boss, and I'm going to go easy mode because I'm a wimp, and, um, yeah, I haven't played this in a very long time. So in this spaceship, the Kestrel, I get my human inhabitants, Tai, Rebecca, and Stephen. And they're all human. Just thought I'd clarify that. I also have my Artemis and my burst laser, which are my guns. The Artemis is the rocket launcher. Burst laser, the laser launcher. I'm not sure if you'd quite call it that. But anyway, let's start this thing up. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But to get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch you. And completely own your ass. Tip. Sound. Go to... Uh, okay. That's normal. Yes, okay. So, I can put in power from here. And if I click there, it'll charge that by one and take one off there. So that's basically my power meter. So I can actually... I can actually take all my power off and it will fill up my power meter here. And I can then put all my power on and it will charge everything up. So, I'm going to send old Stephen into the uh, engine room and Rebecca into the shield room because that seems like a good idea. So this, this can repair the shields and he can repair the uh, engines. So when I'm ready, I can press jump. I've got 16 fuel, 8 missiles, you use fuel to jump. Each jump costs 1 fuel, each missile costs 1 missile. Pretty simple. That there is a nebula, before you ask me. It it disrupts my um, sensors, which I don't like, and it can m make pursuit slower. Like pursuers of the rebels. But I, I don't like it. A lot. I really don't like it. So, I think I'm going to head to the unvisited location and see what I find. Rimigish, an advanced rebel automated ship remains. Stationed here, near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicated storage vessel for military goods. Attack the automated ship to get the storage cache. Or avoid provoking the ship. We're not wimps. We're going to attack this thing and completely own it and get loads of missiles and stuff. Righty ho. So I'm going to use my Artemis to target the shields. Because that can go through the shields. Which I learned. And I'm going to then use my burst laser once the shield's been taken out to target the weaponry system so he can't fire back. <coughs> Let's charge this. So this is them charging. Once they're fully charged, they'll fire automatically. You can turn auto fire on so it carries on firing. Firing actually, which is very useful. Oh damn, son, we've got a breach. Bowls. Bowls, I missed as well. Um. Damn, son. Okay, so I'm losing oxygen here. As you can see, my oxygen has gone down to 95% because there's no oxygen here. And, um, oh good, we've got two, two hits there. Um, I didn't expect it to be this difficult, but obviously it is. Good shot. Their shields are down, and I can then completely own them. Jeez, that was difficult. Only 17 scrap, that's ridiculous. Oh good, A, um, thir another 13 scrap and anti-personnel drone. That's very useful. I'll send Rebecca into this to repair it. And Rebecca's health will start going down because obviously there's no oxygen for poor old Rebecca. So she either hurries up or dies. I'm going to move her out of there actually because I don't want her to die. I'd better keep my uh, captain on the level headed. So um, I'm going to keep him there and uh, send Stephen in to fix the problem. Here we go. Now the oxygen should start regaining, this is the health room, she's regained to full health, which is very, very useful, and she can go back in the shield room. Well, Stephen, he's going to need to heal up as well now, and uh, to use my drones, I need drone parts, and some other drony thing. So, uh, when I find a shop, yes, I said shop, I can get them. But for now, I'm going to jump to this distress call. Oh dear, someone may need help. And if I needed help, I would hope that somebody else would come for me. So I'm going to jump over there and help these people out. Aha! Once you have arrived at the location of the distress school, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. 
Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot the course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Can you lead us there? Yes, I saw... Oh. Class. Slug interceptor. Neutral. Slug inter... Oh, dear. Oh, I'm going to lead them there, otherwise they may attack me and completely own me. Ah, ten to scrap as a down payment. Because I'm really helping them out. Yes. <laughs> so, i got to go right the way up there, so I think I might go across the centre here, and then up there. Seems like a good idea. Let's pop over to this unvisited location. Oh, this is a very nice background, actually. You jump into a remarkable system. No life signs detected within scanning range. Very good to know. Close all doors on the ship. Open all doors on the ship. Ah, that's very useful. I'm going to open this door so it re-oxygenates. Although it should be re-oxygenating anyway. I think it is, but just very, 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 very slowly. But what I can do is, um, upgrade my oxygen system by hitting that button there and getting another power bar by hitting that button there and then I've got another thing in my oxygen and if I hit that bonk, then it can do double the power and it's already 100% so I think we can jump again to ah let's go to the store and we can have a look at the store see what he's got to sell a transmission from a nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travellers you send down an away party to check it out. Aha, I've got crew, crew, pe yeah, crew teleporter, which I can teleport my crew to enemy vessels, which is bound to get them killed. And a cloaking device, so I can evade better. Rrr. But I'm going to fix my hole first, grab some more missiles, and then go, oh no, I haven't got anything left. Buy a few. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. I need to be more careful with my monies. Aha! So now I can jump straight to the crest and help out my friends. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. Thank you for your help and we offer you a reward. Two missiles, one drone part, 29 scrap, and a halberd beam. Oh my god. This beam does two damage per room with small breach chance. Aha! Righty ho. So ideally, I can either get rid of those two and charge up that, which I don't personally think is a good idea, or I can go ship, I can go weaponry system, I can upgrade that and then get, upgrade that three times, blimey, and then get three more power bars and put that into my halberd. But I'm going to save up until I do, can do that properly, because I may need that scrap for paying off somebody. In case they get attacked, I'm going to go there, then there, and then exit. Exit this sector, the civilian sector, sector one. Cool. There are only two ships within range and they seem to be engaged in a battle. One of them has a marking to the space pirate. Aid hey, the civilian ship. Brilliant idea. You'll power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Oh, blimey. Power up my weapons. Right. So, Mr. Artemis, you're going to hit him right in the shield. And burst laser, you're going to burst his... Weaponry system, that's the one. What I could actually do is power down my... Uh, uh, I could... I'm going to power down my engines, power down my O2, and charge up... Uh, I can't do that. That was a stupid idea. Never told me to do that, it's stupid. Blimey. Right. Go. Charging up my systems here. So I'm going to try and take out his shields with my uh, Ultimus, and then burst laser his weaponry system. And he shouldn't be able to fire back. Oh blimey! Oh blimey blimey blimey! Oh dear oh dear! We need to fix the door system, otherwise we're going to be screwed. Oh goody blew up! After damaging my hull quite a lot, actually. The pirate ship breaks apart. You're hastened to contact the civilian ship. Fuel 3, drone parts 1 and scrap 20. Contact the civilian ship. This sector has become increasingly dangerous for your friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your hold damage, and thanks. As thanks. And they have. That is good. I send this dude into here to patch up the health system, and that is my sensor system. Which I think lets me know. Is it my sensor door? I don't know. Regional. 
door, let's call it the door system. That allows me to open and close doors like this. And that obviously lets me heal people. So I can now put another one in here. Put another one in here. And then I can put a camp back there. Um, I could do that if I wanted to. I might do that next time. I shall will do that next time. Remind me. Righty-ho. We're ready to jump up to here because these guys, these rebels that want to completely own me are a little bit far away for me to get too scared yet. So let's pop over to this location here. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small roof yawning outpost. That's not very nice. Intervene to defend the outpost. Yes, brilliant idea. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Oh my god. Righty ho. Let's power up the halberd. Right, Artemis out of shield like normal, and then halberd from here through to here. So that's gonna halberd his um weaponry system and his cockpit. Good idea. Good idea. Go. Come on. Come here. Power up. I just realised how long it's gonna take my halberd to uh, actually power up, which is slightly disturbing. Oh my gosh, we took a damage. Good, they took two damage. Come on, Halberd. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fire Halberd! Oh, very well done. That's straight out on the good old um, weaponry and cockpit system, and I just shot him in the seals. The ship breaks apart, and you quickly salvage what you can. One fuel, one missile, and twelve scrap. Very nice, thank you. The outpost tells you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. One missile run drone part and 20 scrap. That's just very nice, thank you. Cool. I'm going to need to repair this door system again. Flipping door system. Now I've got two people working on it. It should be twice as fast to repair. Good, I have. Put you back in there, put you back in there, and we're ready to jump again. Ready ho. Let's go to the exit. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL, FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Cool. You jump You jump into sector filled with civilian activity. You'll scan the various advertisement channels while waiting for your FTL to charge. You're intrigued by a grey market shipwright. Ah! I can get five fuel. No, 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 no. I need my missiles. But I don't need fuel as much as missiles. We'll ignore that, dude. Cool. I think I'm ready to jump. Ready to jump. Here we go, next sector. Oh, I don't like nebulas. Uncharted nebula or uncharted nebula. Uh, let's go see uncharted nebula. <laughs> Brilliant idea. Righty ho then. Next episode, I will go to the uncharted nebula sector two, and I will kick some ass. The nebula, and then go through this line here. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.